Big Wave Roy Johnson, eating and cheating, and I think it's time for a prep update. So, as we sit here, I am just shy of five weeks out from the PCA in London's and prep's going pretty well. Um, I'm constantly, as I should be anyway, at my lowest weight this prep. Um, 91.1 kgs this morning, that's down maybe 17, <clears throat> 17 maybe 18 k uh, kilograms in I think 12 or 13 weeks. Um, as you can see by pictures, things are going pretty well. I'm coming towards that end stage now. I've got a little bit of a stubborn fat to move, but it's going. Um, I am doing this vlog <clears throat> because I have a couple of things to update on. Firstly, I went to the PCA posing workshop um, in Birmingham yesterday. It was fantastic, uh, free as well. So it was really helpful and really beneficial, I felt, to improve uh, my posing and all that good stuff and they're really attentive and took a lot of time um, with us which is really good I because I was in a area that I'm not really familiar with I like to go and try out a gym um, so I decided to use the gym that posing seminar was in uh, Total Emporium gym in, in Birmingham if you're in the area check it out it's a great gym got a lot of old school equipment and a lot of new equipment and really one of the most one of the best equipped gyms uh, I've been to. Considering it's not absolutely huge, but it's just very well equipped. Um, they have all sorts of, of great pieces for, you know, back, chest, legs. They had a room that was just wall to wall, um, squat racks and, and lifting platforms and stuff. That was great. They had a boxing ring and a cardio area. Um, I think two cardio areas actually, and a studio which did the posing in, obviously. So yeah, great gym. Check it out if you're in the area. Um, I think I have to update on, yes, sorry, the second reason I'm doing this vlog is because my diet has changed, and I will be documenting that this week. Um, I'm on roughly 1,900 calories on a training day, roughly 1,450 or so on a rest day. So I will be documenting that um, for this vlog. And um, other than that, really, other than to show you um, my improved posing from this seminar, I don't have much to say right now, but there'll be more because I am hoping in this week, which is by the end of this week will be four weeks out this week or next week. I'm kind of expecting slash hopeful of a refeed. I don't feel like I'm flattening off as, as you would have seen by my posing pictures as of yet. And because we have dropped out Stairmaster or any form of direct cardio from my current routine and replace that with um, a higher amount of steps. So I'm doing 16 and a half thousand on the training day, 18,000 on a rest day. Um, and that's still continuing to move the fat off my body whilst also keeping my legs fresh and not fatigued. So that's working how, how it should be. And the fact that my legs aren't fatigued may be why I haven't had a refeed yet, but we'll see, I'm hopeful of one. I'm obviously quite clearly hungry for one, but we'll see. Meal one, we have 200 mils of egg whites, two whole eggs, onion, and spinach. Yep. Right, this is meal two, and I am officially in my fish and rice cake era, although there's no rice cake. So yeah, this is 225 grams of cod with some long stem broccoli. Yeah, that's it. Meal three, and guess what? More cod. Yep, 225 grams of cod and some long stem broccoli there and some olive oil. And that's it. Right, meal four, and this is currently my favorite meal of the day because I get to have, oh, I get to have some carbs. I have 75 grams of jasmine rice there, 150 grams of chicken breast and a banana because this is my pre-workout meal. Now this should actually be 75 grams of cream of rice with 30 grams of whey isolate, but I, for love nor money, cannot get hold of my favourite flavour of cream of rice. Uh, that's complete strength, rich, rich chocolate brownie. So, I've had chicken and rice instead until 
that said favour becomes available to me. Right, post-workout meal and my absolute favourite meal of the day. Yeah, I think it's my favourite. One of the two anyway. Uh, we have 100 grams of cereal here with 35 grams of whey isolate. It doesn't look like 100 grams because this is in my bulking bowl, which I don't like to use on, on a cut or in prep because it makes my food look pathetic. But, but yeah, let's get down the hatch. Hello. Right, this is my number six, last minute of the day, and doesn't it look delicious and nutritious? Oh, right, got 200 grams of chicken breast in here with some long stem broccoli, and that is it. Hello, so a uh, bit of an update on where we are this week. It's Friday, I did a check-in this morning for my coach. My weight is down again to its lowest weight this prep, uh, 90.5 kilograms, um, so coach is happy with that. He's Decided to implement two high days for me, which I'm absolutely delighted about because I'm hungry for some carbs. So there's nothing too crazy, just add in 200, uh, 200 grams of carbs on those two training days, which will be tomorrow and Sunday. Um, in terms of other changes, he's upped my steps to 18,000 on the training day, uh, 20,000 on the rest day, which is high. However, I'm managing to hit around about 18 to 20,000 steps a, a day anyway. Uh, it helps that when I have to go into the office or work, that I work in London. So getting to the to 20,000 steps when I get go into the office is not a problem at all. So this update is going to take longer for me to record, so it will blend into a week, will blend into four weeks out, you know, the four slash three week period, because I'll have now my high day, which I'm going to document. I'm very happy about and also my rest day because I'm not showing you my rest day diet yet so I'll be documenting that as well and I'll be doing a check-in after that so maybe I'll add that in as well and then probably no more prep updates until peak week and stuff so yeah um, so as I mentioned looking forward to getting some some carbs in because um, I'm very hungry very very hungry and, and hopefully that will fill me out a little bit as well but all good. Um, but yeah, this is, and I'll put it right here, my most recent current look before the July dates. So yeah, um, as you can see, a lot tighter. Um, things looking really good. And we're in a really good position being four weeks out as well, so I'm really happy with that. as I go on my Sunday stroll. I had my first high day yesterday, which is very much appreciated. But one thing I did notice, it made me very hungry. Um, I could have, could have eaten all day, really, but I didn't. I'm a good boy. But yeah, other thoughts. Um, social events are becoming a bit of a problem at the moment. I um, met one of my mates up for a catch-up. He had this huge, fat, juicy burger. He ate right in front of me, and it looked delicious. But instead of me, like, wanting it and craving it, it just made me quite sad, to be honest. Um, 
and then that trend kind of continued last night. I had my uncle's uh, two-year memorial anniversary of his uh, passing. Um, the family had a big get-together and there's loads of um, Caribbean catering food and it looked and smelled delicious and I just, I went to go and help move the caterers uh, equipment to their van with uh, for them and just walking past it I just looked at the food and I was just like sad um, obviously I wanted I'm craving it but it just looked at the food and I'm just quite sad I can't eat any of this and I love my Caribbean food but you know we push on um, four weeks out today as we stand so we're nearly at the finish line really um, but as mentioned today is the high day again um, I'm training legs today so I'm going to document the diet for today and you'll see what I'm putting in in this high day right meal one um, we've got 200 grams of egg whites two whole eggs um, some spinach onion some peppers and a bagel Firstly, apologies for the background noise. I've got a lot of things, machines going on, worrying and whatever. Um, slight change to my day plan now. I've been called into work, i.e. wrestling. So I will be wrestling today. So that changes things a little bit in terms of what my activity is today, but not my diet. So because of that, and because I've got to go to wrestling, I want to press on and update you on my full day of eating before I do it. Anyway, meal two, it's been my pre-workout meal. We have 75 grams of jasmine rice, 150 grams of chicken breast, and a banana. Post-workout meal on this day of beautiful carbs. Uh, we've got 100 grams of cereal here with 35 grams of whey isolate. Meal four, we have 225 grams of cod, some long stem broccoli, and 60 grams of jasmine rice. Meal five, we have 225 grams of cod, uh, 60 grams of jasmine rice, on some broccoli and some extra virgin olive oil. Meal six, last meal of the day, 200 grams of chicken breast, 60 grams of jasmine rice and some long stem broccoli. And now on to rest day. We have 200 mils of egg whites, two eggs, spinach and some onion. Right, please excuse all the wearing and stuff. This is rest day meal two. We've got 225 grams of cod. Uh, some long stem broccoli and 10 mils of extra virgin olive oil. Lovely job, there. Right, meal three of this rest day. We have 200 grams of beef steak, um, long stem broccoli and 20 grams of nut butter. And I, <laughs> I love nut butter now and I never ever used to like it at all. My taste buds have gone crazy. Right, meal four of the day. I've got 225 grams of cod, some long stem broccoli and 20 grams of nut butter. Well, this was meal five, but I've eaten most of it. It's 250 grams of turkey mince with some asparagus. Hello, um, I think it's probably a good time to try and come to an end for this very long vlog. It's only been two weeks I've been doing this. Um, certainly it will be two weeks from Sunday where I went to the posing workshop. So yeah, um, things to update on. Obviously I've had my two high days, which were great. Um, coach has now changed the diet, tweaked it slightly. Nothing worth documenting really, just lowered my uh, carbs pre-workout and like by 25 grams and has swapped my cereal and um, whey post-workout for egg whites, 300 mils egg whites, one egg and 100 grams of jasmine rice, which is absolutely delicious. Um, but yeah, where I'm sat at the moment, my weight is 88.7 kgs. That's, well, that's, that's past the 20 kilo mark now uh, that I'm down this prep. And if I'm honest, I can't really see much coming off maybe another kilo or so um a little bit of fat and then some water to drop or, um, or you know before the show and i've got three weeks to go um i don't feel fully properly conditioned yet but then when i go back and look at my pictures for show day for when i did the british the pca british and um, when i did the gpo bed for the week after um i look pretty much exactly the same as i did there um and 
that's with the use of you know peak max and that sort of stuff um, so yeah hopefully we're at a point where we can hold now but it all hinges on my next check-in with my coach which is tomorrow which I'm not going to document so next time you'll see me it will be probably within peak week um, let you know how things are going with that and because obviously it's quite a arduous difficult uh, part of prep but one that's worth documenting so if you've made it through to the end of this video um, <laughs> kudos to you because pff, I'm going to struggle watching this back myself no joke I actually only do these vlogs so I can watch them back when I'm doing another prep but yeah thank you for watching anyway um, and next time I'll see you as I said will be during peak week so um, see you soon